Hello again everybody, this is your host Khaled and welcome back to the FX station. Today we're gonna be taking a look on how to create this one. Okay, so stay tuned, right? Because this is gonna be a long one, trust me. <laughs> so let's just don't waste any more time and get started, okay? So see you in a second. Right then, so we're gonna be starting off importing this one to Photoshop or Illustrator or even Cinema 4D, yeah, but I'm just gonna go use Photoshop for this purpose. So, yeah, just <laughs> click on the lock okay, to unlock the layer and hit M to go to the rectangle or marquee tool and try to get a selection around this vector piece. Yeah, if you don't get it from the first time then yeah it's okay just go to select and then transform selection make sure to get it right 100% yeah okay then let's have a look I think it looks alright so yeah now what you wanna do is click control T and then control R then drag a guideline over here and another one to the top another one to the bottom okay now control D to deselect and control R to hide the guide guidelines yeah then use the P and start creating a path yeah just have this piece okay then just don't go any further right it's not gonna be it's not gonna take that long to get this one only about a minute and you can just hold the alt key to drag this anchor point okay in case you're trapped or <laughs> yeah okay Alt again and transform that anchor point and make sure to get it right. Yeah, that's about right. And then make sure to close the path. Yeah, and then go to this, click A instead and select the path. Okay, then go to File, Export, and then Passes to Illustrator. Okay, yeah, so let's just rename this to one and delete our path and start working on others, but just for this tutorial we're gonna be we're not gonna be working on the horse cause that's sculpting and that will take longer, but yeah, I'm just gonna show you a quick tip on how to maybe get something close. Yeah, okay, so let me just finish these ones and I'll come back in a second. For this one you can just use the left half, okay, because we're gonna be making this cut inside of Cinema 4D, so no worries at all. So yeah, let's keep on doing this. To the other side, my Now that we are done, you can just go to Cinema 4D and then click on File, Open, and select our passes. Leave the scale at one; it's okay. And then just when I hit F4, yeah, because these are the views. Okay, Pr perspective and top, right and front. Okay, you can just switch between those 
using F1, F2, 3D, F4. Yeah, or you can just hit the middle bu mouse button, or you can just go here. Okay, right. Now let's do this. The first thing we're gonna do is center this to be aligned with the, the center. Okay, you just have to go to this. I forgot what it's called, but it's the axis something. Okay, you can just zoom in to get it to be perfect. Yeah, that looks about perfect. Right, then I'm gonna just unclick it and go to zero out, please. Okay, then. Yeah, now what you want to do is add lassi herbs and put this layer under that lassi herbs and ta-da. Now you have your chest piece. Yeah, it looks like a masterpiece, right? <laughs> anyway, so let's, let's continue what we're doing. Let's hide this for a second. Okay, and then continue the others just like we did here okay and I'll come back in a second And now that we have our pieces, you can do, you can see that this one is not looking like this. Okay, so we are all those gaps. Let me show you how we're gonna do this. Okay, first of all, make a cube, make it small. Yeah. yeah that looks okay so now you wanna go to MoGraph and then cloner put this into a cloner and then go to grid array ra radio yeah radio then you can just flip this make it minus 90 degrees then you can just scale it down no, 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 no. And yeah. We decide to scale up the cube for a second. Yes. One point five. One point five. One point five. Not working, but why is it? Yeah, now it's working. So we just have to do like I did, disable the, the cloner object, scale up the cube, and enable it again, so that way it can, it can refresh. Okay, then we're gonna add a bool, and put these ones into the bool, and make sure the order is correct. Yeah. And then this is how it looks like. It looks okay, alright? So, we're gonna try to bring this cloner down a little bit. And yeah, looks awesome. Now, what you wanna do is create a material. Okay, put a black color. Then, Iron Reflection Legacy. 
reuse the reflection brightness and okay here we go here you have your piece then go to edit copy or can just go click control C go to the first window control V and do the same with others now for this one we're gonna create a cut okay as we said we're gonna try to make it look something like mm, I'm gonna use the bezier okay so now let's create a cut like this hold shift to <laughs> to move the anchor point end and okay once you're done we're gonna click you wanna go to add a extrude nerves and put this one into the extrude increase the depth move it forwards then add a bull again make sure the order is like this because we want the extrude to be subtracted from the latin herbs okay the order must be important or or else it won't work right so yeah this is gonna be our other piece actually I don't know what they're called so <laughs> Who gives a shit, right? So let's just focus on the tutorial. Yeah, we're gonna do the same thing with this. Only we're not we're going to repeat all this, all the process. We're gonna copy the cloner object to this. Control V, Control C, Control V, and okay. That looks about right. Yeah. Then we're gonna add a bool again. The order is always important. Keep that in mind. Maybe you're gonna do something like Yeah, this looks okay. Or yeah, that looks okay. So control C, control V again, and we have four pieces. Which one is missing? We're done with this. This too. No, we have. We're not. Oh shit! We've totally forgot about this. Okay, just enable it again and add meta cube. Okay, then lift it up. Make it even smaller. Okay. And yeah, there you go. Now I just wanna Alt G to group these two layers into one layer okay and then you can just control C control V and ta da here you go your pieces <laughs> shit we just have to enable this again okay these pieces are looking just okay now you just have to apply the materials, can control and drag these to copy paste them and here you go your pieces. Okay. In the second part we're gonna talk about the scene and the procedure. We're gonna create that table and we're gonna do some compositing and blending. Okay, we're gonna be adding some depth of field and realistic shadows, textures and all that good stuff. So, see you in the next tutorial. Peace.